a Robin with oxydrite <clears throat> and uh, we've got a I'm just gonna do a little interesting video oh I think it's interesting anyway I, I, I don't know if I've ever done this before where I uh, kind of did a direct comparison with these uh, two very similar uh, machines this of course would be the Challenger and that's the Orbitech um, they both have an identical orbital motion same as the Vibe which is sitting over there and the um, Orbot, Orbot which is sitting beside it and I have another Orbitech sitting over further a little further over and actually it has the same orbital motion as the um, or Auric but anyway, I thought this is a wheels up machine. So when it runs the uh, The wheels don't touch the ground whereas this one sits on the wheels and I thought I don't think I've ever sort of played with them side by side um, and uh, just seeing what that you know what I thought of it right, right there in the moment so we're just gonna run over this uh, piece of carpet which I now have sitting on my garage floor and drive on all the time <laughs> gives me something to play with it's a um, elephant of course but anyway we'll uh, we'll just give this a try we'll see uh, tell you what I th I'll tell you what I think as I do it so And that, of course, is a uh, Super Zorb pad, which is the, um, which is actually the pad, uh, this, is, this is identical now to the pads that are available for the Challenger, and they're actually identical, or it is the pad for the um, Vibe and the Robot. So, <clears throat> um, and both these pa um, machines um, have Velcro pad drivers on them. The uh, Orbit, Orb Orbitech originally did not have a tufted driver, but I've c converted it over to a, um, it's got the Vibe pad driver on it now. And this is the original pad driver for this machine. Um, this machine I purchased about a year, I guess about a year ago, um, just because it came up available, pretty good price, and I had never ha owned one and you know I just wanted to snap it up I've only used it a little bit just to play around with it and decide whether or not it had a place for me or in my operation but I don't really I don't really think it does but anyway there's the safety lockout and then uh, away we go okay right away it's a little bit what do I say? I can feel the weight. It's, you know, when you move it back and forth, I can feel the weight um, of the machine. I think it weighs around 60 pounds. But I certainly wouldn't want to use this all day long, particularly if I was doing a big commercial job. There's a, I could feel that that would, even as I'm pushing it forward, I can, I can, especially when it, when it stops and it changes direction and it, there's that brief moment there where you really uh, actually do feel it. It's smooth though. There's no uh, problem with that. still wet enough okay let's try this one now this machine um, I actually um, kind of see it for my um, application um, as uh, my primary I primary primarily expect to use it as my wood floor cleaning uh, OP machine oh. Handle seems to be eh, stuck. Hang on a sec. Give me a sec here. What's going on with this? We'll 
try this again. This is um, this machine was damaged. Um, it was actually in a fire, and when they were pulling it out of the fire in the middle of it all, the um, the handle got kind of gimped up a bit, the, or the release mechanism. So anyway, here we go. We'll put, go down one more. They've got a different setup on their newer machine now. Orbitech does still make, um, a, I'm not sure if they make this exact machine. This is called the um, Defender. And I definitely like it. I definitely like it better than the uh, Challenger. It has a much more solid feel. This is really easy to maneuver. It doesn't want to, it's not tugging one way or the other, which the wheels uh, up Challenger does uh, give you that feeling that it wants to, uh, on a, especially on a loop carpet. And the heavier the loop, the more obvious that is. But yeah, this thing is uh, very easy to uh, maneuver. I could use this all day long and do commercial work. And of course, they actually do because it's basically the same as the Vibe or the Orbot or the um, CX-17 Orbitech, which I've used many times for doing big commercial jobs and it's just a breeze to use. So, uh, yeah. Definitely a much easier machine to maneuver and work with. And it has a very solid, like the handle feels real solid. The last time I used it, I did a video uh, where I was doing a wood floor with this. And it worked just perfect. And it's very, very smooth. We have a, a stain over there. I have no idea what it is. Like I say, I'm using this to park on. <laughs> and okay, of course you notice that I put a glide underneath it. I generally prefer to run with a glide anyway. Makes it a little easier to work with. Well, there you go. Anyway, I thought you might be interested to see that. Um, and uh, anyway, I'll let you go. So thanks for watching and have a good day.